Okay, we're going to do some ray tracing with a flat mirror. I have here an object. I've got the flat mirror and I can see the image back there. And it seems like if I move around, it doesn't really change on the paper back there. The image is in one place. I'm going to look back here and mark it. I can sort of see right where it ought to be. I'll look up here and there it is. Now, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to put a pin in the paper right there. And you can see I've got this thing lined up from my vantage point. Okay, so there's a pin marking in front of the image and I'm going to put a dot on the paper right here. That's going to trace a light ray from the image to my eye. I'm going to move the pin over a little bit and do the same thing from a different angle. So now another light ray is going to come from that image, go right past the pin, and I'm going to put a dot right there so it's all lined up. Okay, now we can take this apart. And we're going to be able to trace a few rays. I have the pin, hole, and this dot. A light ray had to come along that line. Another light ray had to come from the other pinhole past this dot. Each of these light rays reflected off the mirror coming from the object. These light rays were spreading out. The mirror reflected them. They continued to spread out. And these rays are the ones that went into my eyes here and here. Where do I think these light rays came from? I trace them back to an intersection. Here's one light ray. And there's the other, back traced. I trace them back to here. It looked like when I first drew the dot though, it seemed to be here. Okay, well we're off a little bit. It's not bad. This is how we see an image from light rays that spread out and we trace them back to a point of origin. Now you might notice that this distance is called the distance to the object. And with a flat mirror, it's equal to the distance to the image.